And this is the Temple of the Sun. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, just from the beginning, walking in here on the side, I gotta say, this area is mildly more impressive than the Pyramid of the Sun area. We have arrived at Teotihuacan. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I keep hearing him pronounce it and I don't think I'm ever gonna get it. Had to wait a little bit to get in here because my mom left her phone in the uh, Uber and her phone is one of those phone wallets. So uh, we could have been mildly screwed for this trip. But uh, luckily our Uber driver drove it back for us. And now we're about to go explore some pyramids. I didn't know you could climb them. So we are here at Teotihuacan, uh, first of the temple of the pyramid, and I'm about to walk like up towards it. And man, when you are walking up here, it just looks like you're about to walk off a sheer cliff or drop. Look at these steep steps. As of now, we are wandering around and wondering how Chichen Itza possibly could have gotten on the uh, great man-made wonders of the world compared to this place, because this place is honestly way more impressive. I always like walking off to the stuff that no one else is seeing, and a lot of times it's even more impressive. Like, yeah, that's huge. And we're gonna be climbing a bunch of pyramids. But you come over here and there's actually still paintings visible under the new excavations. I mean, we've only just started exploring here, but I gotta say that if you're uh, coming here, it's gonna be hours, four or five hours, I'd say at least we'll be here because this place is huge. So give yourself plenty of time. Got to record just in case of fall. <laughs> and that was the easy one. How'd you guys get there? Slow and steady rain for this. Do expect a lot of walking. We were told it was two kilometers to that next pyramid and then another kilometer to the far one. Luckily we don't have to walk back though and we'll be getting our ride from way over there. My sister noticed the museum this way sign which said 800 meters. That is probably a lie. I think we're the only ones heading to the museum but apparently it loops around and we'll then hit the pyramid of the sun after that. We'll just be coming at it from a different angle. So maybe come this route if you don't want to be with all the crowds. Damn, those are cool incense burners. Mm -hmm. You know what it reminds me of? The Catholic Church. <laughs> you know how they're like obsessed with like incense yeah. So this is apparently the diorama where we, of where we are at Teotihuacan. So we came in here, came up here, and saw this pyramid. And then we walked on this pedal. And that is the Pyramid of the Sun right there, which we have not yet seen. And then the Pyramid of the Moon back in the back. This is the burial area of the Teotihuacan Museum. I like these guys' faces. I do not read or speak in Spanish. And when I got this, I just thought it was a Coca-Cola brand of 
iced coffee, but apparently it is Coca-Cola with coffee. And uh, it's pretty good, weird. It leaves Give a, it a try. <laughs> it leaves Give a, it a coat try. on your tongue. This is the Pyramid of the Sun. It is very, very large. I don't think we're gonna be climbing it, but I might go up one level just to get some pictures of me up there. We'll see. And this is the Temple of the Sun from the front. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, just from the beginning, walking in here on the side, I gotta say, this area is mildly more impressive than the Pyramid of the Sun area. I have to record video anytime I'm walking down in these temples because just in case I die, gotta have the video footage. As I said earlier, we took the uh, side path to get here uh, and I still recommend it. But if you wanna take the main road, this is it. It is beautiful. Awesome temples. If you really want to spend a couple more hours out here, you can climb a bunch more. But a lot, a lot more people come in this path than the side path over there. So it's up to you which way you take, but uh, no matter what, I uh, think I'm preferring this area, the Pyramid of the Moon area, with the Pyramid of the Sun. This is the last shot before I leave here. Gotta take it all in. It really is incredible and I would honestly put it above Chichen Itza for me. Maybe even above Machu Picchu, I'm not sure. Machu Picchu has gorgeous views all around, so maybe that would put it a little higher. But definitely come here. Make him do his stuff again. Do your little fluff thing. Attract the women. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think he's a male and he's like trying to attract them. Nah, he ain't doing it. We just saw this weird, very bright lizard that I uh, tried to get a picture of and risked getting kicked out and got yelled at, but it was worth it. And now we're going into uh, the palace, I guess? This was the palace that served as the residence for the elite of Teotihuacan and it is just right next to the plaza for the Pyramid of the Moon. It'd be quite a, quite a place to live. We were heading down here, there's like a good 40 people standing in front of this area over here. And then they just walked away as soon as we got out here. That's some good timing. Wow. My sister has called.
So genetically, our family is unable to eat very much, and we don't know why. We're all kind of large, and uh, we just can't eat very much. We're all approaching fullness, and we have this much left on our plates, split between three people. It is delicious, but we are not your typical American. <laughs> I do, I do not speak nor read Mexican. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Spicy chili crickets. The hard part of like popcorn. Look at that little dude. <laughs> spicy little guy. It's not spicy. Oh, it's not? No. Um, tarantula in Cambodia is better, actually. It gets worse. How do you like that? It just tastes like crunch, like you'd add it to something to get crunch.